MnDOT is growing its own talent. A diverse new talent that is ready to take on the state's transportation issues of the future. Are you ready to grow with MnDOT? Then MnDOT's SEED Student Worker Program is for you. The SEED Student Worker Program was created in 1993 in an effort to open the doors of employment to the people MnDOT serves. The SEEDS program is for minority students, students who are recently separated veterans, economically disadvantaged students, students with disabilities, and women studying STEM, or non-traditional fields, offering them chances to grow through an on-the-job experience. The SEEDS program works with students to help them find which area of study, and eventually the career they would like to pursue. MnDOT has opportunities in many areas related to students' majors such as accounting and finance, business administration or management, computer-aided design drafting, chemistry, material science, civil engineering, civil technologies, or surveying, communications or graphics and web design, geography and geographic information systems, human resources, law or paralegal studies, information technology, and planning. Your first year as a SEED student, you're required to have a mentor. Your mentor and career coach will help you work towards your goals as a student and as an employee of MnDOT. These seed planters, as they're called, help you and encourage you to succeed by providing tips to improve study habits and grades if needed as you work towards your goals. Like any other MnDOT employee, you are compensated for your work. We offer sick time, holiday pay, and vacation time for our seeds workers. It is the goal of the SEEDS program to hire as many of the SEEDS students as possible upon graduation, thereby building a diverse and highly qualified workforce for the future of MnDOT. A SEEDS Celebration Day is held each year to honor the SEEDS participants. The commissioner of MnDOT attends and hands out awards acknowledging the year's graduates. Also during the event, there are workshops to assist SEEDS students with important life skills, such as financial planning and career research exploration. Let's listen to what some of the past and current SEED students and their supervisors have to say about the SEEDS program. My name is Eni Ayo. I am a junior at Inver Hills Community College. I'm majoring in nursing, and I currently work in the Office of Human Resources. While being in the SEEDS program, I definitely learned how to manage my time better. I learned how to balance work life with um, school as well as my social life, and I definitely feel like it's been um, helpful with just learning what it's like to work in a professional setting. The best part of my job is definitely working with my team. They encourage me every day, they help me learn new things, and I just have a fun time being around them. My name is Tonku Hur. Um, currently I am working with the OTSM office. Um, the SEAS program gave me a lot of flexibility in scheduling my own work hours and having that coincide with my student hours. So then that gave me a lot of freedom and more responsibilities since you're managing yourself, your own time. In office, um, I did get a lot more responsibilities. Um, it wasn't just kind of busy work. I became more of a staple within the office that contributed more and more and more as I transitioned. Being able to step into a more professional environment allowed me to develop my skills, especially um, in GIS applications. and in a way that I wasn't able to do from an academic perspective. My name is Nathan Singer, and I currently work in the Office of Environmental Stewardship. I think there's a lot of untapped potential with the students, and they learn way faster than I think a lot of the supervisors are expecting. So they kind of turn out to be a huge asset once they you know, kind of get going, and I think the office itself is able to benefit. My name is Carol Zoff, and I work in the Office of Environmental Stewardship. I would recommend that other offices pursue a SEED student worker if possible. Uh, it's brought a lot of innovation and technical expertise that we otherwise wouldn't probably be able to afford. We really appreciated the financial assistance that the SEEDS program has so that we could afford to hire a, a student worker. My name is Timothy Tabor. I work in the Office of Transportation Systems Management and I'm the LRS supervisor. It's a great opportunity to get a hard worker and be able to get a fresh perspective on your workflows and be able to make them more efficient. Having SEED students has been great. They're hard workers and they offer new insight 
Uh, my name is Ted Culianos. I work in the Office of Freight and Commercial Vehicle Operations in Central Office. RC students positively affected our office by being energetic, willing to learn new things. They always helped out whenever they were asked. And just having that energy that they bring a, a whole different uh, viewpoint. My name is Cal Merrick and I am the Recruitment Program Supervisor um, in the Office of Human Resources. Having a seed student in my office um, has allowed us to function at full capacity. Like we're a full team now, we're able to move through projects and meet deadlines. When I began supervising, I had two seed students. Um, one is a permanent employee here at MnDOT now, the other one is thriving in the private industry. An office should definitely take on students because it's bringing in fresh knowledge all the time. My name is Dakota Andrew. I attend the University of Minnesota here in the Twin Cities. It's given me this, this open door to you know, professionalism and team-oriented mindset, things that I can really apply to careers you know, external to state government or you know, really anywhere. My name is Jackie Wayne. Um, I'm a senior studying economics at the University of Minnesota. For me as a student, um, you know, the knowledge that I learned in school, applying what I learned uh, to a practical and professional uh, environment that I couldn't learn from school. I'm Dana Hernandez. I work in the communications office. Balancing my personal life and my other commitments along with work was really a struggle at the beginning, but as time went on I was really able to adapt to this new schedule and I would say it definitely prepared me for full-time employment. I'd say it's definitely a benefit um, to my career to be able to actually have hands-on opportunities to work in the field that I'm interested in. My name is Malcolm Wade. I work for the Office of Transportation Systems and Management. As a student worker, you have to balance school life, your work life, and your just personal life. There's times where it's consistent, but once midterms come, you know, you're in and out of the office. So you have to keep track of what's going on in the office, as well as what's going on in the school. It gives you good work experience. They're very flexible. They understand that you're a student first and a worker second. And they'll work with you to figure out a schedule that works. As you can see, the MnDOT Seeds program is a great career track for minority students, students who are recently separated veterans, economically disadvantaged students, students with disabilities, and women studying STEM or non-traditional fields, offering them chances to grow through an on-the-job experience. As of 2017, the SEEDS program has approximately 32 students and continues to bring on new students each year. It's a great way to focus on our future together. Your career with MnDOT is waiting for you. So what are you waiting for? Go to the State of Minnesota Career site, see if you qualify, and apply today.